Y'all know what time it is. U.S. needs this. We need to stay a patriarchal society, man. We men. This is the truth, man, with the Macho Man series. Some of my stuff is for comedy, but most of it's for learning. You need to become Macho Man again. All of y'all that, you know, you bowing down to everybody. Just so you know, you making the U.S. weak again. You ain't making it great again. You making it weak again. And I believe, I believe that's why people hated Trump so much. Let me pause this. I called it, I called it the Macho Man series because not that it's based on Macho Man's character, but a lot of his character, I think, <laughs> I think it would really help us if we get back to some of that. I'm not saying you be insecure towards your Elizabeth, but look at Macho Man's character. Macho Man was not really a troublemaker. His character was not really a troublemaker, but he would fight anybody and he'll adjust to any situation. And in real life, I believe that's what we need to do again. We need to become Macho Man again. You know what I noticed? I worked a lot of jobs and I'm gonna tell you something that I noticed. I noticed that a lot of people are scared to confront. A lot of people are scared to agree with someone who's confronting because the U.S. is becoming candy cane. They're becoming lollipop. You get what I'm saying? Let me just, I'm watching this traffic because a lot of guys, you know, you a macho man, you learn to wait. You a macho man, you learn patience. You a macho man, you pick your fights. Notice how the character, macho man, he spent more time interviewing and, and trying to get ahead than he did in actual conflicts with people. You know, and we, like I said, we need to become real life macho men. A real life macho man will never allow suicidal thoughts to to lurk in his mind because he loves himself too much. You practically spinning around. Remember that spin he used to do? The real macho man ain't going to entertain suicidal thoughts. A real macho man will, if his wife wants to leave, he'll tell her, bye. Because he knows that he can get somebody else. We ain't even talking about relationship. Because for one, we want your relationship with your wife to work. We want you women to stay humble and faithful and loyal. And we want you men to remain protectors and providers. So we don't want relationships to fail, per se. But today's topic is money. It's money. See, you become a macho man again. You gonna, you gonna set your kids up right. You gonna have life insurance. You gonna have retirement plan. You gonna have some, some type of way to consistently give money to your children. And even when they grow up, you still should be leaving them something. Why? Because you the man of your family. You the man. So we have to get our money right. And if you having money problems, don't worry about it. A lot of people have had money problems. You could change the way you do things while you have the money problem. 
A lot of people, I hear people talking about, well, pay off your debt first. To me, that's like the stupidest thing. Why would you go to work every day to pay off your debt first? The mistakes you made in the past, you want to pay your debts, but you want to pay yourself first. Because we macho men. We got to come first. So you pay yourself first. You take an amount that you're going to put up for yourself. Then you take an amount that you're going to put up for your kids. And then you invest and you pay your bill. You say, well, how am I going to do all that? Well, if you don't make enough to do all that, it's time to get more. It's time to get a side hustle. It's time to get a second job. It's, see, some of y'all just lazy. And you're just too dependent upon your wives and girlfriend. Some of y'all only work one job because you dependent on your wife or girl. That's not macho men. That's not macho man behavior. Macho man behavior, you ain't going to stop her from working, but you ain't going to depend on her either. And you'll go to her and be like, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to find another job to go along with this, or I'm going to start a side hustle, and I'm going to pay all the bills. But we're going to create an account where you will just put money in it. And you can put money up for the kids, too. Don't let her waste money. Don't let her control the money, and don't rely upon her to pay bills. You have to become a macho man. We talked about getting in shape. We talked about stopping all that arguing. Now we talking about money. And everything I'm telling you I'm doing right now, everything I'm telling you, that's, that was, that's, it's not that I'm trying to make you like me. I'm just showing you stuff. Really, I'm paraphrasing from the Bible. These are ways that we supposed to be. Oh, you don't think so? Remember the scripture in Proverbs about the ant? It said, consider the ways of the ant, you slugger. And it talked about how the ant stored up, and then in the wintertime, you just hibernate. What's that constitute? That constitute getting your money long and right. See, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. But it could keep you from being a wimp if you get your money saved up and you start to just start putting some stuff aside in your basement or in an extra room in your house. Putting, this, putting flashlights, putting backpack, putting water, cases of water, uh, honey, um, uh, tea bags, anything that won't rot and what what have you and get a deep freezer get a deep freezer and fill that thing up with meat you know then that way you won't have to be a pansy when this stuff when this you, you better do this somewhere else be like I'm not doing it bye and you can go and, and sit back and uh, play video games or whatever. Or if you get really far ahead, I would pay. If I was you, I would put some money on that electric bill. They get. If you anything like we are here in Wisconsin, they set up set it up where the gas and the electric are together. So if you can get ahead in that, they won't be able to turn you off. Well, if you, if you don't have that, uh, you can't have gas in your home. You could be like, well, I paid my bill up. So what are you talking about? You can't do that. Give me my money back then. It's time to get this money right. It's time to get land. It's time to pay. It is time to pay off your debt. Or it's time to be take a I don't care attitude. If they pull this stuff, let them take your cars. Let them, let them do it. It's going to hurt them more than it's going to hurt you. Trust me. If everybody refuses that, 
then all of these so-called rich people, a lot of them are going to lose some of their money-making abilities. But they want you to bite into the propaganda of college and, and home ownership and all this. Listen, if you have the patience, pay or you have the money or you can get the money, pay your house off. Pay your cards off and start paying cash from now on. You know, be like, okay, well, I want a car. I'm 33 years old. Uh, I'm going to say 400 a month for five years. I'm going to drive this car for five years. And in five years, I'm going to go and I'm going to pay cash for a car that is 20000 you go in there, car is 27, be like, look, I got 20,000. Uh, you could take it or leave it. Because you macho, man. It's time, it's, it's the time for the money to get right. And on that, we're going to close. Let's get the thing ready to go on again. Thanks for watching. Y'all already know I'm being censored. But the more of you that subscribe, the more of you that watch, the more of you that like. Some of y'all watching, but you're not liking. You got a problem with me or something? Be macho man. Be a macho man. You got a problem with me? Sit, put it in the comments. But don't just not like the video. If Even if you don't like it, dislike it. But comment. Do something. And on that note, we out of here. Bye.